Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sophie and today's video is going to be a car tour, but if you're interested in military life, medical assisting, school, lifestyle, hauls, any of that, stick around, subscribe because I do it all. And if you guys have any recommendations, just leave them in the comments down below. I'm always willing to film whatever. But today's video, like I said, it's going to be a car tour because I have recently purchased my very first vehicle with the help of obviously my husband Sean. We purchased it together now that like we are married and um, we just, you know, share everything now. Um, but it's primarily my car. He is deployed and when we're back, like when we live together, this will still be my car and he'll get something else. Um, but I feel weird saying it's mine because we're both you know like under like we, we bought it together even though I was the only one at the dealership you get what I'm People saying I think I bought this all by myself like without him because he was uh, fully aware of it and everything but let's just get started I'm gonna show you guys the outside first and I'm so excited like I'm so proud of us we purchased our own vehicle and I'm 18 and he's 20 like and it's a nice car like it's not a beater like I'll show you guys. So that was the outside, and now I will give you a tour of the inside, which is what everybody cares about anyway. So let's get started. Driver side, where I will be spending a majority of my time, anyways. So this um, is a defroster for the windows because it gets really cold in Wisconsin, so you definitely need that. Here's the light switch, cruise and everything. Everything's pretty straightforward and this car, there's nothing super fancy. I mean, it does have Bluetooth and everything, which is very common these days, but the car that I drove was a 2007, so there was no fancy gadgets. The only like cool thing it had was a sunroof which this car unfortunately does not. My sister, however, did also buy a Volkswagen Tiguan and it's a 2016 and she got a moonroof, which is actually very nice. Um, it was a lot more pricey, so it wasn't something I was willing to pay for um, as a first time car it's owner. Touch now. screen and everything. And then here's how you do the heat and air conditioning and um, heated seats and all that and then down here I just have my key but there's this little compartment I just keep cash which I I honestly never have money in my car but um, I just do because Starbucks and I had a gift card and I wasn't sure how much was left on the gift card so I just brought cash in case and I didn't end up using the cash so I'll probably take that out anyways because it's not good to keep cash in your car because if someone were to see that they would definitely try to break in, I feel like, so I'll definitely take that out. But then it just has this charging port, which is nice, and then, like I said, my keys. But normally when I'm driving, I'll put my phone in here. It fits nicely in there. And then moving down, it's just typical. I don't even know what that thing is called. <laughs> and then here, I keep a hand sanitizer. Um, oops, just because ugh, everything is just so gross. And then keep my coffee but also I'll show you guys let me just set that there this slides which I put my phone here but if I do have like my coffee or a drink then obviously I put my phone there so there's a few different options and then this is the parking brake which is super cool I'll show you and then if you want to take it off you press on the brake and then you just press it up or down. I don't know. Try to figure this car out. Honestly, I think uh, you, the car needs to be on to do I that. Just have floss, lip gloss, chapstick, and change. It's already like becoming a mess, and I've had this car for a week. <laughs> and then right here, that up. And in here, I keep just one of these extras I have one here um, I always have this one whatever car I'm driving I love it um, and then I have these because now I have leather seats in my old vehicle 
I had cloth or whatever it's called. So this is definitely going to be important if something spills. And then an aux and another charging port and just a pen because that's important, you know. And then here is so annoying. So it came with it. And it's this old, like, you know, iPhone 4 charger, and it won't come out. It's stuck in there. And I should have cleaned that before I filmed. And that's how the car came. I did not make that mess, okay? Just putting that out there. The thing that I really do wish is that this was just gone, and it was just a big hole, you know? Just because it would be a lot more friendly for storage, but... It's on the passenger side, and it's super roomy. Um, just a little cup holder there, and then you can lock it and window. Just the, the usual. And then in here, I keep a snack. Um, just in case I'm driving and I get hungry or someone in my car is hungry. You know, it's just good to have a little snack. And then I have my insurance my and paper license. Just in case I'm driving sometime and I don't have my card and I get pulled over and you need to show your license like I feel like that would be better than nothing um, and then I know it's always in here so if I'm driving I have a license because I always forget my wallet or my purse whenever I go somewhere um, and luckily I've never been pulled over though. go over the back seat because it's literally nothing special um, this thing is kind of nice it pulls down and cup holders and then there's the trunk I just have a blanket back there in case I need it for something um and then you know the charging port the air vents it's very roomy back here and I like because like you have a good view of the front um which some cars I feel like you yeah don't. that was my car tour I'm just gonna uh finish it up in here because I feel like I covered it all I mean there's not much to it it is a nice car, but it's not like a Tesla. It's not anything special, but it is perfect for what I need. I mean, I'm only 18. I don't have four kids. I don't drive carpool. I don't commute long distances where I would want a large car or like anything um, out of the ordinary. I think Bluetooth, the backup cam, and the heated seats are all I need. That's literally perfect. I'm so grateful that at the age of 18, I can, like, financially support myself and Sean um, and buy a car. Like, um, I never would have th thought that I could have done that, but it's so cool that I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're in the market for a Tiguan, it's definitely, I highly recommend it. It... Decent gas mileage, roomy, rides so smooth, it's um, affordable, like I would not be able to buy a car that was like extremely expensive, it's dependable, and Volkswagens hold their value a lot better than some other brands, so that was definitely something I was thinking about for resale, like I'm not going to have this car forever, so when I want to sell it, I want it to still have value, you know? Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much know, like, you guys are enjoying what I'm putting out there. If you guys have any questions about the car, I guess you could just DM me on Instagram or comment down below. My Instagram is sophia.d.carlson. I love getting DMs. I reply to everybody. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.